In this tutorial we're going to um, continue with the foot control and create that using a curved circle and drag that onto the plane, move it over above the actual foot, the left foot here and um, what I'm going to do is um, scale it out. And scale it in a little bit and then you can shape it if you like by going into the control vertex and moving those over a little bit so it's uh, definitely the left foot control and then I'm going to go in here into the hypergraph and I'm going to rename it in here rename and I'm going to call it left underscore foot underscore uh, control. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my, I'm going to click on this now, select it, and then I'm going to go for my insert key, my move tool. Get my insert, hold down V and snap the center pivot point to the ankle joint. And then I'm going to come out of the um, insert key and then I'm going to select the left foot control. I'm going to shift and I'm going to select the left ankle turn grip. And then what we're going to do is we're going to add a constraint. I'm going to do two constraints. You're going to do a point constraint. And then go back into constraint and then orient constraint. And now when I go into the foot control, click off it, go into the foot control and select it. Um, and then just say we want to move it up and down. You see that the foot moves up and down with it. And then if I want to go in here and then I select it again and then you want to rotate it, it will rotate as well with the, uh, the whole foot. Um, that's the second tutorial in the, um, the foot control. There will be more to follow.